what's up everybody, this is Ty from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another easy beginner guitar lesson and today we are doing Zombie by the Cranberries, alright? We did this one on Saturday as a ukulele song. I was surprised at how many of you guys out there love this song, alright? So we're breaking it down, easy beginner tune, fun song to play, um, strum for strum, chord for chord, with the lyrics on the screen. If you want, you become a Patreon, get a PDF song sheet with this lesson and all our lessons starting at a dollar creation, caps as low as a dollar a month. But you don't need those things to learn this tune, all you need is that guitar brain attention span if you have those three things. Follow me on in and let's break this lesson down right now. All right, so you're gonna use the chords first. We're gonna play an E minor. We're gonna need a C major. We're gonna need a G major. And a D major. Now in the D major, if you can play an F sharp, with your thumb like that and get an F sharp in the bass then you're gonna um, be a little closer to the track but this is an easy beginner song so just know that while you get that in there it might sound a little closer to the tune um, it's not necessary let's go ahead and teach it without it and I'll show you that what that looks like as an option later all right so the chord progression is gonna go E minor for four beats one two three four to a C major for four beats one two three four G major for four beats, one, two, three, four. D major for four beats, one, two, three, four. All right, so go ahead and just try to voice those chords and play through that without a strum pattern, just like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this song, the recording is at 82 beats per minute, so it's actually probably even a little slower than that. So why don't we go ahead and slow it down one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, now, <clears throat> if you're just terrible at strumming, you could even use that as the framework to sing the song if you wanted to, you know, because that is actually the chord progression for the entire tune. But what we want to do is we want to add some rhythm to it. We want to add some life to it. So we're going to add a strum pattern, and our strum pattern is going to look and sound like this. So it's one strum pattern, um, and I'm going to show you how to do it with palm muting, without palm muting. Because you can use that trick as a simple dynamic to separate your verse from the chorus. When one song has the same chords and the same strum pattern basically throughout the whole song or the same rhythm, you kind of have to be creative in the way you're going to invent different sounds and things like that to give it some life. One thing you can do right away, palm mute for the verse, open it up for the chorus. So the strum pattern is going to be looks like this. It's 16th notes. It's going to go down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. All right, and take that nice and slow, and you would just nice and slow, strum by strum. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. That's what it is, and you just want to say it out loud. You want to verbalize it. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, 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 down. And if you're home alone and no one's gonna look at you crazy, say it out loud. It really, really helps to verbalize it. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Because your hand's gonna follow your mouth or your words, all right? So, palm muting, without going too in depth with it, I'll put a link in the description, all right? In the comments below. What we're doing is we're putting our palms on those strings and we're getting a chunkier sound as opposed to. Palm on, palm off, palm on. Wax on, wax off. So in the verse, you can play it with your palm hitting those strings. It would sound like this. Happens four times in a row.
going to go ahead from there and you're going to go into the chorus. So the chorus is going to be the exact same thing, except you can pull that palm mute off a little bit and let those notes ring out a little more to create a little more dynamics. Now what you're going to do, the chorus is two singing and two instrumental. So while you're singing, you open it up a little bit, and then when the instrumental comes in, you bring it back down. So why don't we go ahead and play through the chorus, it would look like this. between the chorus and the verse, but there's the same progression for the whole tune. So why don't we go ahead and put the lyrics up and we'll play through the verse and the chorus one time. If you can get that, you just keep it going for the other verses in the chorus. Here we go. and it repeat itself over and over and over again. For the more experienced guitar players, if you know your pentatonic shapes, this would be in the E minor pentatonic. As far as scales that you would use to improvise and jam on, all right? Okay, what else? Also, if you're gonna be doing the heavy palm muting, the heavier palm muting, that's when that shape's really gonna come in handy because you can really focus more on this F sharp and the D note. Um, if you're not really going to be palm muting and you're just going to be strumming open the whole time, I wouldn't worry so much about that D shape, all right? Okay, everybody, 10thumbspro.com. Subscribe and learn. We do new guitar lessons every single Monday. Everything from these easy beginner songs to more advanced stuff, all right? Just hit that subscribe button, clickety-click. If you want, you can come to Patreon, PDF with this lesson, all our guitar lessons. So it's just a dollar creation capsule, it's a dollar a month. Skype lesson 101 if you're interested. <coughs> and a little cough just because I need to clear my throat. All right, everybody. Until next time. All right, everybody, so there you go. Everything you need to learn this classic tune, breaking it down, had a fun time doing it, 10thumbspro.com. Um, subscribe and learn. We're here to teach. You. Let us know what you want to learn. Comments below. And until next time, see you next Monday. Keep on playing that guitar. Keep on loving life. Take care, everybody.